He's a counselor, lecturer, and philosopher. Rabbi Manus Friedman combines ancient Torah wisdom with modern-day wit, and he has great insight about relationships. His new book is called Creating a Life That Matters, How to Live in Love with Meaning and Purpose. He's been with us before. He joins us again. Rabbi, uh, thanks so much for being with Good us. Good morning. Always a pleasure. Pleasure to see you. You know, so lots of pearls of wisdom that you've given us the last time we talked to you and also from this new book. So let's just pick out a few and maybe you can just comment on them if people are curious. It's interesting that you say if something bothers you about someone you're dating, don't marry him, even if it's a little thing, because the little things eventually become big things. Everything is okay. Yeah, the little things become big things. But doesn't everybody have little things? Oh, oh yeah. Doesn't everybody have big things? <laughs> <laughs> and you say dating is the opposite of marriage. Yes. Yeah. There's the confusion. Dating is a totally selfish process. The reason you're dating is because you want to check somebody out to see if there's a future in it for you. It's completely selfish, and it should be. Right, but That's yeah. purpose. But then when you get married to this person, you got to switch it off and become completely selfless. And that's, you know, that's a bit of a trick. So if you get too comfortable dating, you're getting too comfortable being selfish. And then it becomes really hard to switch. So we got to bear in mind, dating is not a relationship. See, it's become like an alternative marriage or something. <laughs> so when you talk about little things, though, <clears throat> everybody's got little things. So do you have this dividing line between the little things that are non-negotiable or something, or is it just all subjective to the particular person? Yeah, it's all subjective. It depends on how much does it bother you. Like some people say, these little things bother me, and I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed to even admit it. Hmm. That freckle disturbs me. <laughs> <laughs> and it shouldn't. So, well, whether it should or shouldn't is not relevant right now. <laughs> right now, it disturbs you, so yeah. don't go there. We've also talked to you about this in the past. You say respect keeps a relationship going far longer than love. Why is respect so important? Love can be very selfish. It can be toxic. It can be deadly. I mean, we know that. So love is a risky thing for a relationship. And yet we put all our hopes and all our, all our trust in the love. You know, the love will keep us together. No, it's usually love that breaks you apart. Now, respect, on the other hand, is always healthy. It's always innocent. It's never selfish. It's never deadly because there's a certain humility to it. Mm. To respect another person, you have to have a certain humility. But to love takes no talent whatsoever. Mm. Let's go back to the uh, the dating uh, portion for a second here. People are kind of looking for good chemistry, whatever that means. What does it mean to you? And what's a healthy definition of chemistry? I like that question. Good chemistry is not sexual attraction because that is so generic. Anyone who's good looking or anyone who, who is who is attractive will create sexual energy. That doesn't prove anything. And that's not good chemistry. That's just sexuality. Good chemistry means how you make me feel about me without oh. saying anything. If when I'm sitting with you, I feel good to be me, that's the credit goes to you. Because with most people, I become self-conscious and I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. I'm either competing with you or defeated by you. I can't, I can't compete with you. But when I'm sitting with somebody with good chemistry, you make me comfortable being me. And that's, that's very individual. It's very subjective. And it's not going to happen with just anybody. 
that that's is good chemistry. Ah, well, fascinating. Boy, you just saved me thousands of dollars in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> he always does. Well, thank you so much. Uh, if you want to see more pearls of wisdom or read about them, you can read Creating a Life That Matters. Uh, Rabbi Manus Friedman, thanks so much for being with us again. Always a pleasure. Thank you.